What's up, Hedgehog Maniacs and Doki Fanatics? Sidex17 here, back with more Doki Doki Vigilante, which is a mod for Doki Doki Literature Club and a mod inspired by Persona 5. The last time I saw you play, MC and the girls did a little rhyme time in the Literature Club. That was the idea Monica had when she said something during the last club meeting. It was quite entertaining to say the least. The ridiculousness of it and everything. <laughs> Boy. But what you're about to see is the final video for chapter 2. And boy, it is something. All I can say is, time to dive in, and let's do it to it. Okay, what the hell just happened? Huh. I think his manga just went from average to pretty good. The characters are finally starting to get some development, and the ca callbacks to previous chapters are nice as well. I don't know what's going to happen next. My question is answered right when I turn the page and see a giant panel of a woman dressed in lingerie. Oh, really, MC? Well... This manga just went from pretty good to really good. A few minutes passed until I finally finished the volume. Now I can read something else now that I've done. Or hell, even go do something entirely different. But instead, I lie here, looking up the ceiling. Doing so leads me to think about how my day went. I guess it was alright. Nothing too crazy happened. Although I really enjoyed spending time with Monica after the club today. I just can't believe she made me sing with her. She told me I didn't sound too bad, but that was probably a lie. Honestly, I believe I sounded horrible and she was just trying to be nice. But... Huh? I wonder who that is. Now that I all have the girl's numbers, it could honestly be anyone. Unlike before I, unlike before I moved here, Hatsayori would be the only one to text me. Other than like... My mom, I guess. But she obviously doesn't count. I lazily move my arm to the bedside table and pick up my phone that has got two or two more times since the first time. I open it. <sighs> of course, it had to be Sayuri. It had to be Sayuri. I open it and see they were all from Sayuri. I should have known. Hi, Sayex. I have a question for you. What is it? Yes, Sayori. That happened like a few hours ago. Perfect. You have bad memories. I want to make sure. Thanks. Anyway, what did you two do? Where did you go? Nosy as always. Things we really haven't changed. I contemplate on not even telling her anything. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. None of your business. Extra spicy? Just because I went on uh, one date with her doesn't mean that kind of stuff is happening already. Unless playing the piano is considered spicy. <laughs> what? It was. What? It wasn't. Extra spicy confirmed. The last message looks like it was sent without even reading mine. Finally, a normal conversation with Sayuri. This is rare. Nothing much. Made dinner, read some manga. Man, that's so productive. Hey, I'll I'll do my homework later. You better. I'm not talking to manga. Please no. Her, ma her mentioning manga reminds me. I'm supposed to meet with her tonight. I wonder what time I. I Ah, crap! Upon looking at the clock, I realized that I'm almost late. Again! Hey, I check. Hey, I actually just remembered that I have something important that I need to do. I'll talk to you later, alright? Yeah. Yeah, okay. See ya. I 
I saw my phone immediately rush out of my room and down the like, down the stairs. Damn it! She's gonna go to take off without me one day if I keep doing this. I rush out the front door and into the street, try not to attract any unwanted attention. After changing, I eventually arrive on the school rooftop. You know what, kid? I know. I'm sorry. I got caught up talking with Sayuri. The stone expression is suddenly replaced with a small smile. That's alright. I wasn't waiting too long. But you do have to keep a bit of track of, bit of, track of time, bit, track of time better. I promise I'll work on it. I guess when you said that before. That's because I did. Like two times before this. Uh, okay, are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Time for another patrolling session. Monica begins to jump to another building as I start to follow. A few minutes later. Whoa, I haven't seen this background yet. This is interesting. Come on, I know I heard something. Joker! It's coming from over here! I follow Monica in the direction she was pointing in. I see a girl standing by a tree. So that's who I heard! Hey! Whoa! It's the first time I actually see an OC here! That's interesting! But. But who's... This is the... I haven't seen this particular OC before. Interested. The girl looks up at me with nervous eyes. What happened? We can help. I... We can't climb up that tree! I look up towards the nearby tree. She seems to be correct. Yeah, don't worry about my life. Don't worry, my reliable partner can get it down for you! Monica looks over at me exponentially, along with the girl. Is this really what, we're do what I'm doing tonight? Okay, fine. I turn around and begin to climb up the tree with much less enthusiasm than, I, than what I had before. You kitty kitty! Oh no. As I reach my hand out towards it, it begins to hiss at me. Cats never did like me. Suddenly, the cat lunges on my face and starts to scratch and bite me. Ah! I fall out of the tree with the cat still stuck to my face. You let go now, you dumb cat! I try to forcefully remove it from my face, which only causes it to sink its claws in harder. During my struggle, the girl comes over and carefully lifts the cat off my face, allowing me to see again. Manga quickly helps me off off the ground as I start to brush myself off. Um, you're right. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Well, thank you so much for saving him. You're welcome. Try to keep him safe, and away from trees from now on. I'll try. Yeah. With that, she turns around and and almost runs in the opposite direction, turning a corner near the end of the road. Sign it to be as I look at Monica. I'm sure we can find something better to do tonight. I hope so. I didn't sign up only to save cats every night. We're not firefighters. We both turn around and get ready to hop up to a, a, a building. Save a cat's all you guys can do. Huh? What the hell? We suddenly hear a deep and almost sinister voice from behind us. I slowly turn around to see the source. What the hell? Who the hell is this? A tall looking man with bright yellow eyes begins to slowly approach us. When did he get here? Who the hell is this? What's wrong? Didn't know somebody was watching you? Heh, <laughs> I thought you guys were way more threatening. Maybe this would be easier than I thought. Huh? Who are you? 
What is the important? Okay, how about, how about a different question then? What do you want from us? Nothing in particular. Just here to give you a message. Leave us alone. You got that? Us? So he's working for someone. What are you talking about? I was tipped that there was a pair of troublesome kids going around playing pretend. That's the superhero stuff's gut stuff you stuff you guys are doing? It needs to end. Oh yeah? And why is that? Well, because, Shorty, you might end up getting you and your girlfriend hurt. His eyes are very bright in the darkness, giving him an ominous look. Honestly, it makes me feel... feel very unnerved. Who sent you here? And who is this boss of yours? Do you really expect me to answer that? If you want to answer, if you want the answer so badly, why don't you make me tell you? He begins to thread closer to us. Hey, you better back off! I won't hesitate to kick your ass. Joker. Oh, that's a fairly daring statement for you to make. Look, all we want for you is to stop beating up our guys and ruin our deals. You ain't making us look bad out there, out here. Look bad? He says that as if there was, a, there was other groups watching them. But if you want to be, if you want to be difficult, he stops walking while being about ten feet away from us. I could just end you right here. We'll see about that. I attempt to begin the fight by catching him off guard with a swift punch. Joker! Monica's words stop all on deaf ears as I, don't, as I don't stop. I don't care about rash I'm being. If this guy is threatening to kill us, then I won't go down without a fight. I punch him square in the gut at full force. He barely moved! That punch even hurt him? It's not all you got. Soon he counts with a strong kick to my gut that sends me flying. No! He is still wall behind me, sending a sharp pain throughout my back. Ugh. I see Monica rush towards him out of anger. Damn it, she's going to get hurt! Ugh. Ugh. Just just as I thought, he quickly elbows her in the face. Knocking her down. Takes a takes a few steps towards her, appearing to have the intent to hurt her again. Stop! Don't touch her! Come finish what you started, asshole! He turns towards my direction once I yell that. Yell him. Jeez, you kids really are amateurs. You really don't know who you're messing with, do you? My yell seems to have caught his attention as he makes his way towards me. His constant mock is so aggravating, but I don't think I can even put a dent in him. Well, at least he's not going towards Monica anymore. Oh boy. Once he gets close enough, he picks me up by my shirt with one hand. Did you say you were going to kick my ass? Heh, <laughs> well, I'm about to make you regret those words. Monica's perspective again. I delivered him up. He can test my side next repeatedly. I have to do something. He's really strong, but I can't just let this happen. I get up as quickly as I can and cock my silent pistol. I then hoist the run of the man. I can see my options are right. Can't get close enough to him. If I shoot him before, I recruit this creature in side X. Even can the the key is moving by holding him against the wall. I am behind him, so I do have an advantage right now. However, as well as I say that, he throws on the X onto another wall as he turns towards me. You scumbag! I grab, I 
grab onto it by his neck and pair him against the wall. I then quickly place the muzzle of my pistol to the front of his forehead. Take a quick glance over at Sunny X. He's completely still! He's telling me he seems okay. What do you think you're doing? Answer everything I ask you truthfully, or I will shoot! Understand? Oh, of course I do. Although I think you're forgetting something. Huh? What the? He swiftly pulls out a gun in his pocket and shoots it immediately. The bullet makes direct contact with the lower part of my leg, causing me to let go of him. He then draws a quick punch to my face, causing me to fall back onto the ground. A gun flies out of his, my head across the pavement. His actions! They were so sudden! I didn't even have time to scream out in pain from the gunshot! I... I don't know what to do! Can't do anything but still but stay in shock! As the pain in my leg swells greater and greater by the second! Should've known he had a gun the entire time! I should've known! You kids are really stubborn, you know that? Maybe killing one of you would get the message across. Heh, <laughs> assuming one of you isn't dead already. I can't move at all! I'm just helplessly frozen in fear, now that I won't be able to run away! Sonic has shown no signs of move moving either. Is he even alive? I can't move. I can't speak. Is this the end? Am I going to die? Oh man. He removes the science up from his pistol and points it in my direction, glaring at me with those horrific yellow eyes. This is what happens when you act like a hero. I shut my eyes tightly, preparing myself for the end. I. I'm sorry. Sayuri. Natsuki. Yuri, I don't think I can tell you any more meetings after this. I hope you're gonna move on without me. I'm sorry I let you all down. It's not the X. I'm sorry I wasn't a strong partner. I couldn't get us out of this. I was too weak. Bye, everyone. I'm sorry. As the other tears continue to stream down my face, I finally hear the end of my life! Huh? What? Huh? My thoughts exactly! What the hell's going on? I... don't feel anything! I can't feel over my eyes, not knowing what I may see before me! <gasps> MC! Oh man! Sonic X? Sonic X stands in front of me, all spread out with exactly four ball holes in his clothing and blood spotted all over the ground. His body is busy shaking as he struggles to stand. Ugh. <laughs> you really need to work on those sluggish movements of yours, Press. His body grows limp as he collapses onto the pavement. Joker! I practically scream as I scramble onto his body, completely ignoring the pain in my leg now. While making my way towards him, I see the man begin to walk the other direction. That piece of crap! I don't even, I don't even care to chase that him down. Once I'm close enough, I hastily grab Sunny X. Joker, get up! I start to finally shake him around. Desperately hoping he'll show any signs of life. Please! 
this? You... You can't die! Oh, man. Stop in between my words. I can tell you to shake his lifeless body. I'm not giving up on you! Please! Wake up! I shake him as much as I can until I, I can't do anything but cry! He hasn't moving at all! His blood just continues to pour out of the holes in his, his body! Please! You can't leave me! I love you! Is this truly where your story ends? What? I suppose it was a mistake to expect more from you. How pathetic. Oh, man. to be right Where have I been? I'm a shapeshifter A postmaster Hiding the face and mind I'm free for you to draw I'm a shapeshifter Don't take off my last revealing Oh my god. Still more? Gotta wait. Oh, man. That was chapter 2 of Vigilante. Oh man. MC sacrificed himself. To save Monica. I don't know what to say. I don't even know. But I do appreciate the mod. So far. Left. Let them disbelieve. Won't know the outcome of this until chapter 3 gets done. Ready to go. For now, SanyaX17 is signing out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below. And if you want to see more of my content, 
subscribe to me so you'll check out the rest of my content and you also check out the videos you see here on the screen. I told you to stop doing that, Monica!